I've always liked the joke. Don't just do something, sit there. Good morning from Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's a lovely morning, taking a walk, heading to a coffee shop that I know, and uh, just uh, getting my steps in before it gets too hot. Come join me. Beautiful city, beautiful city. I'm just going to take a brisk walk around the grounds before I head out and uh, continue my walk up to my coffee shop. perhaps uh, not such a brisk walk. One of the blessings of um, tourism being down is it's so quiet. Coffee time. can't throw a baby in Chiang Mai's old city without hitting a temple. <laughs> too triggering? Take two. You can't throw a stick in this old town without hitting a temple.
an old walled city guarded by a moat. How medieval of them. Normally, in all the times I've been here, this is the most difficult thing about Chiang Mai, crossing the road. But today, it looks positively simple. Wish me luck. And if you don't see me again, I've just emerged out of the uh, west gate of the old city, heading west. Uh, I am at the um, area of the medical campus of Chiang Mai University. And I'll be heading to the Niman district. A lot of blah, blah, blah for people who have never been there, but if you've been here, you know where I am. So to uh, recap, I asked for two of these chicken barbecue. I knew that they would be 20 baht or uh, I don't know, 60 something cents. And uh, he gave me three. I'm happy. Nice. I'm on the street now where my uh, coffee shop is. My coffee shop. Last time I was at this coffee shop was, yeah, a moment, a moment before uh, COVID hit in January of 2020. Anyway, <laughs> I'm coming upon this coffee shop and uh, my, my fear is that it's no longer here. And why is this my favorite? Well, it's my favorite because I found it, because I enjoyed it, uh, that I took summer here on a second trip. I've been here, um, you know, at least three different trips to Chiang Mai. So yeah, it's my coffee shop. And it better be here, damn it. I hope. It's so cute. They cut my brownie into little squares. I haven't been here in four years, and yet the Wi-Fi still remembers me. That's a sign that you are welcome. Take the, the Buddhas, for example. I've always liked the joke, don't just do something, sit there. Let's take me coming to this coffee house. Um, even though it's, you know, hundreds, thousands of miles away from where I live, I come here very rarely in the grand scope of things. Uh, it gives me a sense of, uh, you know, of everything being right. 
I don't come to Chiang Mai, I, I really don't come to Chiang Mai to go to the temples. Uh, as I've shown you, they're so beautiful. Uh, but I like walking among them. And when I walk among them, my heart rate lowers. Uh, I feel some peace. I get more of a direction um, in terms of you know, figuring out this grand scheme of life. It's just wonderful. And it's the same thing with um, coming to my coffee house. Uh, I just like things being there. Everyone always tries something new. And as a, as a traveler, uh, I've been to 35 countries. To some that's a lot, to some that's a little. But recently, you know, I've been coming to Thailand almost every year and coming to Chi Chiang Mai almost every time. And I like this place. I like this as a you know, third or fourth home. I like how it makes me feel. It gives me time to relax. Uh, when I walk around, I, I am not hooked up to Wi-Fi. I don't have a SIM card, so I have, um, I'm not quite, uh, you know, cutting off, cutting off the line as this video attests and Wi-Fi here in the coffee house and in my hotel room, but uh, much more than in my day-to-day -day life. Confession time, I, I'm not very good at just sitting there. I've never been, but I'm learning. I've been learning for, uh, well, I've been learning for years now. I used to have a job that was very demanding. Uh, don't laugh when I say this. I was a um, sports reporter for a newspaper. I covered uh, NBA basketball, and I worked all the time. I mean, all the time. I was traveling about 100 days a year, uh, flying uh, from city to city, and when I didn't have games, I was always on the phone, on the phone, way back in the old, in the old days, uh, talking to agents, talking to other general managers, trying to, to get the story. Because my biggest fear was waking up the next morning and uh, one of my friends, my fellow beat writers for the teams I was covering, or ESPN, was going to break a story that I should have broken if I was vigilant. And over the years, that it's difficult. It's, it's not an easy job. You know, most of the time you're just watching a basketball game. 80% of the time you're just watching a basketball game, talking to players. But that 20%, uh, you've got to be on top of firings, of trades, of arrests, uh, of all kinds of controversies. And that's, you know, that's where you make your money as a sports writer. That's where you get your reputation. And I worked all the time. And I just reached a point where uh, I didn't want to do that anymore. So, I've been learning, and I continue to learn. And for now, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, you know, everybody says, uh, don't just sit there, do something. But uh, what the Buddha teaches, I mean, just look at their faces. Don't just do something, sit there. And with that, I'm going to end this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. If you have a comment about Chiang Mai, about life, about my hair, please leave it below. And share this video with others. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to press the like button. Like, like, like. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe. All right, catch you next time. Bye.